Welcome to this energy transfer. Just connect, just receive, just be open. Kundalini energy. And in this video, whilst you receive this energy, I wish to talk to you about those communications. Many people receive. It can be visual downloads, they can be conversations. This may sound very strange, but many people receive these things. And it's interesting because people talk of angels and demons and archangels. But there's also the jinn. And there's also the dakinis. People will talk about, they talk to their higher selves, they talk and download information from aliens, palladians, the intergalactic network, or whatever you want to call it. There are a million names. And understand that these things will be received in ways and these things will take forms. So your programming is more likely to receive them. A Buddhist will never receive a message from that guy called Jesus of Nazareth. And a Christian will probably never receive a message from Muhammad. But these frequencies of information, these conversations, perhaps warning of, a, of something, or that we can communicate with to ask for things, like in magic and manifestation. Through all of them, some will say they're male, others will say they are female. But I think for me, the best way to describe these things, the thing that hits home the best is the Dakini. And you may know something sort of about the Dakini. Because Dakini can be translated into English as Skywalker. Yes, yeah, Star Wars took things from the real world. Just as the stormtroopers can be found on cathedrals in Barcelona. It is said that the Dakinis are female, perhaps. But there are different levels of Dakinis, there are eight of them. Some will be aggressive, some will be intense. Some will be calm, depending on their level. Depending on your level of fear. Which you will attract. Which will speak to you and guide you. Some are more enlightened than others. And yes, they do explain the realms of quantum physics very nicely to the point that quantum physics could have taken this idea
from Taoism and Buddhism, Tantra, and taken that and researched it and discovered it on a non-humanistic level, because humans love to humanize things. Humans treat dogs as humans rather than animals. They don't learn animal body language and animal communication. They expect the animals to act as human. People name their cars. So yes, there are statues of the Dakinis in a humanistic form, just like the Hindu gods. angels, demons, whatever you want to call them. But the more we can abstract from them being an angel, the more we can abstract from giving them a particular name, the less we focus on the detail of the who and focus more on the message itself. This can become important. Whether it's just from a very real world situation. Because when your subconscious mind starts giving you states of depression or anxiety, Instead of focusing on the depression that or anxiety, just recognize it is your subconscious mind screaming out at you to say, stop what you're doing. I don't like this. Change your behavior, change your habits, get out of what you're doing. Or I will shut you down. It's unfortunate that psychologists and psychiatrists don't say this simple thing to people who go to them to therapy for depression, anxiety. They simply recognize that's what it is. As soon as you feel their symptoms, stop. Take a breath, change your life it doesn't have to end in deep depression, anxiety, pharmaceuticals. Just like midlife crisis are the same thing, they are wake-up calls. And the more we embody and listen and awaken, The more you will have to accept that this, yes, there is something missing in your life. Because new and shiny and setting goals is not the answer. For in this life, there is only one destination. You know what it is. How does every life end? It's about not the goal, not the destination, it is about the journey. And new and shiny in capitalism and commercialism is the goal to buy the bigger house, to buy the bigger car, to buy the new phone. Because that'll make me happy. But it doesn't. Happiness and contentment, permanent, can be attained. It's been written for thousands of years. It has many, many names. The bliss state. By awakening Shakti, the energy can raise from the earthly level, the physical level, up through 
and connect it to our consciousness, to Shiva, through the levels, through the chakras, through the eight bodies. Eight or seven? Hmm, interesting one. It can be found in Kabbalah. It can be found in the chakra system. It can be found all over the world, in every culture. We use the word Kundalini awakening. We could use the word spiritual awakening, but that has been corrupted, unfortunately. Just as enlightenment has been put on a pedestal so far above you, it is impossible to attain. And it will be if that is your belief. If you don't know what I'm talking about, by connecting to the energy, if you focus your attention and intention in the center of your head, where your pineal is, the eye of Osiris, whatever you want to call it, which of course goes from the back of your head out your brow, but coming from the side passes between your ears and so as the light turns on in the center of your head or you feel that pressure start to build or lighten, you will also perhaps become aware of something like tinnitus, a ringing in your ears. And if you allow that to happen, between these two to open and connect, if you never experienced a Dakini, or whatever you want to call it, that is where they can be found. You want to learn more about energy work. In the description below, or just go to my website, The Integral, sorry, The Awakening Energy, and look for The Integral Energy Program. I have a 52 week course or program designed for you to connect fully through internal alchemy and training so we can get to the point where we can awaken your kundalini or just activate prana kundalini activation to awaken your kundalini raise your spiritual level you can also book sessions with me on my website or you can just stay at YouTube, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave comments. Everyone can con contribute to their own awakenings in their own ways. As the more the channel grows, the more videos I can make. means the more I can help you and everyone else. You feel the energy. Allow it, feel it, embrace it, embody it. Release everything that needs to be released. Energy blocks, also known as traumas. Stagnant energy. Let 
the energy vibrate. Make you feel lighter. Lighter in weight. And lighter as an illuminated. Remember, as you do this, you must also work on your personal development. It's in within my program if you need it. You must also work on your shadows. So as your energy raises, your ego stays in check. Also in the program. To avoid the dangers that arise from Kundalini awakening. Those dangers of too much sensory input and egos that are not ready. Either because they're too big or too fearful. Trying to keep you in your bubble. Going, sticking. Just feel. Allow your body to move if it needs to, it's okay. Give it permission to move. Allow emotions to rise if they need. That's okay too. You can release stuff through your voice, vibrating in through your nose. Connecting your voice on the exhale. By allowing the energy sound and people call that talking in tongues and light language lots of imagination these days to make things special unique but they're just things that have always been around always there, ever present, as long as you know about them. Let us raise our vibrations through energy, it's the simplest way, it can of course be done in other ways. There are many systems that will just prepare and leave you hanging. We don't leave you hanging. In the Integral Energy Program, we take you all the way. We don't prepare you for a Kundalini awakening. We actually take you down the path when you're ready. You can embrace consciousness and even take you there and guide you through it if that is what you need after doing the IEP. Whether you consider them angels or archangels or demons or dakinis or the jinn or fairies or spirits of the higher realm, it's all good. Just a name, it's just a program you are running for you to accept it. Of 
course, if you take off those filtered lenses, we talk about that in the personal development section of the course. But if you take off those filtered lenses, remove your programming, your bias and your belief and just focus on the message. You'll get so much further, so much faster.